just blaze. Make it not. For me to have conceptualized this, you know, less than a year and a half ago, and in this town, in Hollywood, to be able to get a movie to screen as quickly and as good as like might turn out to be, it was a dream in every single way. It's a Cinderella story, so you need a kid who has enormous appeal, uh, who's believably an orphan, believably a great basketball player. Many actors, young actors, could play this part, but there's something that Bao brings to it in terms of attitude and scope and his, you know, his, you know, sort of like charm and abilities that are unique for the character and that really worked. And he could play basketball terrifically and that helped a lot. I met Bao, I went to Columbus, Ohio, where he lived and met with him, which was Interesting. <laughs> he was excited about doing the movie. He actually wanted to do a movie. He was like, no, that'd be cool. And he loved the idea of just coming to L.A. for a few months and, and making a movie. Truthfully, my first impression of Little Bow Wow was that this kid was a star. I mean, literally, he had the thing. You know, he was a leading man, a leading kid. It's real easy. I mean, like I said, uh, just know the lines and play basketball. Basically, that's how I just think about everything. And, and it just comes by itself and sees it. And so many times, things that we asked Bao to do, he could do. He could make the basket, he could do the dribble, he could dry, you know, dribble between his legs. He could do great, you know, fakes. He had skills. Everyone who knows Bow Wow knows of his extraordinary ability to play basketball. Like, he plays ball with grown men and can score on them. See, little Bow Wow has the advantage because he's, he, he's a little bit shorter than I am, so the ball doesn't have to come up as high. So he can do all the tricks uh, that I can't do. You got to watch. You can't judge a book by his cover. He only about 4'8", but that little boy is powerful, man, so you got to be careful. I'm the greatest. Can't nobody beat me. I'm the greatest. I didn't know he had the handles that he had. You know what I'm saying? I figured he could probably play since they had him for the lead. Um, but then when I got on the set, I saw his handles. I was like, oh, they made the right choice. This kid can play. The guy can ball. I'm impressed. I know he can rap. And I know he has the eyes for the ladies. But now he can ball. He's my hero. Okay. Just tighten it up one more time, a little, a little closer. Rip. This has been easy for me with Bao also because Bao. Uh, he handles the ball extremely well. He's, he's into the, the, the Nike commercials and he watches the N1 tapes and so he's got all the fancy things that you can do with the basketball. It was a different experience for him in his life to, for three months to be somebody else and every day come and be that other person. The character Calvin is a dreamer. You know, when you meet him, he's, he's dreaming of, of something bigger. For himself, it is um, a family. Bow Wow is, is a dreamer too. You know, Bow Wow is a hugely successful rap star who dreams about playing in the NBA. And in his mind, he's gonna make it. He's gonna be in the NBA one day. And so I think, you know, they, they share those characteristics. I said, Bow, look, you're already a rap star. This movie's gonna make you a movie star. But I know you love basketball. When you grow up, which one do you wanna be? And he went, it was like, it wasn't even, you didn't even have to think about it. A basketball star. It was like going to fantasy camp and making a movie. I mean, we shot at the forum for, you know, 12 days. We have to make it look like a real NBA game, which means we need tens of thousands of people to come. And how do you get that? Well, we went on the radio and said, who wants to watch Bao make his movie? To show up on the set one day and to see 5,000 extras and to see the players in uniforms and to see all the lights and the cameras, I could never forget that day. And then anytime Bow would come out, the girls would start screaming. And then I had the challenge of, okay, Bow, you're not Bow, you're Calvin. So you Calvin's not as cool as Bow right now. It was almost as if they felt they were coming to see a Bow Wow concert. So it was all we could do to instruct the extras, please, we're making a movie here. This is not a Bow Wow concert. Hey, uh, uh, were you guys doing Bow Wow at that time? 
And it was hard for him to concentrate because he wanted to do it, you know, to beat Calvin and do this, but then he's got like fans and we're shooting and people are yelling, bow wow. It was like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> cut, do it again. Okay, take two, action and bow wow. Cut. He took it seriously. I hope he takes his this whole career in acting seriously. Shoot it! I've been writing for less than four years and didn't take a class on it or anything. And I got a chance on July 3rd to go to the movie theater and pay $9 for a movie that I wrote. And Bow Wow was a kid who dreamed of being a rap star and his dream came true. He dreamed of being in movies and his dream came true. You know, um, at the end of the day, there's something to be said about believing that if you really want it bad enough, you know, it can happen. You just, you gotta believe, you know, and don't quit.